Okay, so we've made our way into the front door of the home. You're gonna walk right into the great room as soon as you get in here. Great room, family room, living room. Don't really care what you call it. Everyone has their own little uh, thing that they like to call this room, but essentially this is one massive room. So from the front door, and let me kind of back up here and give you a better idea. So here's the front door we came in. As you see, solid hardwood doors. Looking to the left, walking in that front door, as you can see, this room is absolutely massive. It does have a coat closet, a little bump and niche in there if you wanted to put some kind of uh, entertainment center there uh, or sitting area, it would be perfect. You can see you've got the original hardwood floors in the house, uh, all the original hardwood trim work around everything, hardwood doors, just absolutely full of character in this lovely little home. Now we back up. And as you walk in the front door, there's your view to the right. So this is a gas wood burning fireplace. That's correct, both gas and wood. And so load it with wood, get the gas to start it. You can turn the gas right off and then it'll burn away for you. It does have an insert in it as well. So that's gonna help with some of the efficiency. If you choose to use the heat, this, uh, heat the house with this, that is going to be one heck of an option. So as we walk our way through, you've kind of got this little knee wall here that separates uh, what I called this great room and then into what most would consider the formal dining room area here. So you do have full formal dining room and as you can see, all of that majestic woodwork as we talked about before, wrapping around all the door frames, fantastic looking hardwood floors throughout the entire house. Love that look. As you can tell, plenty of natural lighting coming in from the windows. These windows have been updated, and so that is a bonus. And from what I can tell, every room also has a ceiling fan in it as well, so it's going to help circulate and again keep with the cost. Now, the floor plan as follows that we're sitting here. This is going to take us back to the kitchen, and then a little breakfast nook down to the basement. This here is going to take us to the attic, that door itself to the attic, and then you kind of get a little sneak peek of a bedroom here. There's going to be a bathroom to the left, and then an additional bedroom here to our left. First, we're gonna work our way into this galley kitchen and take a look at it. Now, as you can tell, working our way through the house, a good amount of this house has been updated recently, including this kitchen. Uh, up, updated within the last 10 years, this kitchen is. It does have a uh, dishwasher, does have the refrigerator, does have the range, and those are negotiable with the purchase of the home. Ceiling fan in here. Most of these galley kitchens, I don't think have enough cabinet space, but in this kitchen, and I'll, and I'll turn around and give you a better view here, this kitchen has tons of cabinet space. So. Here's everything above the cook area, tons of cabinet space here, and then over here at the sink area by the window, again, tons of cabinet space here as well. And these are your taller to the ceiling cabinets giving you even more space. Now I talked about this breakfast nook here in the kitchen. So let me turn around here and give you a view of this breakfast nook real quick. Sorry if I blurred out there a little bit turning too fast. As you can tell, it's been converted to a laundry room. Now, if you want to use this as a, a breakfast nook, no big deal. There is a washer and dryer hookup downstairs, and so this could be turned right back into the washer, uh, right back into the, the breakfast nook if you just want to remove these little attachments and, and fittings here for the washer and dryer. Take a quick look to the left, and I'm just going to show you where everything leads, and then we're going to go back into the bedroom area. This is going to take us down to the basement here. And then to the right down this hallway is going to take us out to the backyard, which you've already seen. And then you have a nice little pantry right here behind the curtains. And then an additional coat closet right here back by the door. So plenty of storage on the main floor to take care of those things. Let's make our way back to the kitchen, kind of get another view of it here. And then into this formal dining room. And we're going to make our way over here to the right and work down through the bedrooms and the bathroom. Now, again, this here leads us to the attic space. And I'm not going to take you up there. It's very hot. It's kind of dusty right now. Uh, but that upstairs could easily be converted into one really massive room or into two bedrooms. And you see that a lot with Cape Cods where they've been converted. So if you did that conversion, you could turn this into a four bedroom, two bathroom home relatively simply. So here's the bathroom, full bath upstairs. We do have a half bath down in the basement. You can see here you've got a full size shower insert with sliding doors. Everything in here has been updated recently. You've got the nice flooring in here, as well as a newer uh, sink pedestal and base. And then the commode there, all of them, like I said, have been updated recently, freshly painted, nice chair rail uh, all the way through. Working to the first bedroom to the right, again, we've got a um, linen closet here. Nice place to store some stuff. We make our way into these bedrooms. Nice sized bedrooms, most two bedroom homes I find uh, have smaller bedrooms. And I think in this situation, these bedrooms are decently large. So we work our way through here, a little peek into the closet. You see the hardwood floors in this room as well. I mentioned the ceiling fan. And then another option that they have is every closet in the bedroom. So these two bedrooms have cedar lined closets as well. So 
Nice having that cedar line closet. Keeps your clothes a little fresh, keeps the moth away. Uh, so really nice setup. Working our way into bedroom number two. And then again, we've got the hardwood floors. We've got the hardwood, you know, the original hardwood doors in here. And then this closet as well is also cedar lined. Do have ceiling fan in this room as well. And work our way back out of the bedroom. Okay, so we've taken the tour of the main floor. And now I'm going to take you down to the basement real quick and show you the basement and what opportunity it has for you as well. I'll meet you down in the basement. <laughs> 